We want to go to the phones. We have Marky, who uh, actually is uh, part of our Facebook audience and uh, watching from Genesee up in uh, Palouse country. Hi, Marky. How are you? Hey, I'm doing pretty well. I'm a little bit chilly. Are you a little bit cold right now? Uh, Mid 40s earlier this morning. So, yeah, it's a it's a it's a little bit nippy here. Oh, I was just referring because because we're in the cold open for the not even a show right now. I'm I'm I work for NEAS. I do the cold open. My name's Murky, and so we're in the cold open right now. And uh, I just do need a little bit of help from you to make sure this goes smooth. Now, what do you mean cold open? What 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 what? What are you talking about? Well, the cold open is what happens before the show actually starts. And then again, it's not even a show, actually, so it is kind of confusing. But basically, all you need to say is, let's start the show. Um, um, uh, um, uh, well, we've started the show. So what, what, what no, point would haven't. you like to wait? Okay. Marky, what's the deal here? Tell me, just, just level with me. What's going on? First off, my name's Murky, and if I want, if I'll level with you. Basically, this is my job, and Stoop is trying to take it from me, and I have a contract that only lasts two more weeks, and I really need to get good cold opens in. Otherwise, there's no chance that they'll renew my contract, and Stoop will be the man, and everyone will suffer. Okay, Murky, I have no idea what that was all about. But I, I can somebody explain that to me? I'm not sure what just happened. Sorry if you thought it's so, but this is not even a show. I'm sorry if you thought it's so, but this is not even a show. I'm sorry if you thought it's so, but this is not even a show. We've got the pranks, we've got the songs, and all of that is good to go. But the fact remains that this shit is still not a show. Hey everyone, and then and then you say, "Hey, is what horses eat?" And then I say, "Oops, I mean hello." And then you say, "Thank you." Hey, every or hello everyone. It's me, MMC, for another edition of the Not Even a Show, and I am still looking to find my wife, who was kidnapped by my arch nemesis, Colonel Dufree, who also purported to have killed Gord, who is a Canadian hitman that I sent to kill him. I'm actually getting reports now, though, that maybe Gord isn't dead. And I'm also hearing maybe that Gord also might just be a figment of my imagination and part of my personality. But honestly, who cares? Let's get on to the episode, and it is an absolute banger, as we've got calls to Alex Jones, Chris X, Larry Elder, and a new UK host named Dan Wooten. Plus, Steve Opath the Cop calls the Mark K Show. First, though, sometimes on the channel something happens that is truly incredible and it's magical and today is one of those days as Tom Gully officially joins the prank stars and makes his first ever prank call to JJ McCartney. Check it out. All right, welcome back. Friday, the 3rd of July. J.J. McCartney with the Mysterious Colonel. we got Robert on the line in Chicago, and we've got uh, area code 435 on the line as well. Hello, Hello welcome, welcome to, the, welcome show. to the, show. the show. Hey, Colonel, how are you doing today? Hey, how are you? Who are we talking welcome to? to the show. Uh, my name's Tom. I'm calling from the very remote mountains of Utah. <laughs> Utah. All right. Hello, mm. Tom. Utah. Very nice. Yeah, I was, I was calling in because uh, we've had zero incidences of uh, the coronavirus here. So uh, we've been upgraded to condition green. We're allowed to have team sports. And the political correctness, it's just gone through the roof. We, we actually, at our first practice, people were talking about us wearing masks while we were playing. And it got even worse. Uh, they, they said, for me to get a jersey and play on this team, I had to call in and say, shirt. Ah, uh, yeah, ah, uh, yeah, ah, uh, yeah. Well, you know, Tom, uh, I, I know that there's a high concentration of mentally retarded people in Utah that, 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 that. Not only do they, do they uh, play 
They don't. They they play they play these sports with helmets on. But as I understand it, they also uh, wear wear helmets around the house, things like that. So uh, we probably we a sh- Canadian transplant. Oh, yeah. We kind of figured, kind yeah. of figured it was going to yeah. go there. Hey, how are you? Hey, how are you? Yeah, that's probably kind of that's that probably one of there. that's probably one of Chris in Vancouver's gay lovers. So, um, so, um, so, um, because, yep. you know, <laughs> so, um, I'm sorry, but yeah, you know, it's only two things that come from Canada. Um, good Lord. Yeah. <laughs> Larry Elder is a very popular right-wing radio host who has one of the worst green screen setups that you've ever seen and constantly has tech issues with his phone calls. And when you have tech issues, you know who you're going to get a call from. It's the man known as Tech Head Terry. Check it out. Triple eight nine seven one S A G E. the number. Terry is in Idaho. Terry, you're on the Larry Yoldis Show. Thank you so, much, you for so much for calling. Hey, thank you so much for taking my call, Larry. I appreciate it. How are you tonight? I'm doing well. Uh, that's good. Uh, man, you got such a cool studio. I love watching the live stream. I was, uh, you're having some issues with the live stream on the main page. It's up now, which is good. I'm checking you out, though, as I do every every uh, night of the week. What, I'm curious, though, as I like, what kind of mic are you all working with there? Uh, what kind of mic is this, John? What kind of mic is this? Tonight, you, 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 you've, you've already asked a question above my pay grade. I'll find out. Hold on a second. What, what do you call it? A, a Neumann? Does that make any sense? Oh, a Neumann. Okay. Yeah. That's, a, yeah, that's cool. I'm not sure. That sounds like a good brand. Is that a green screen? Is that a real studio by? It might be a stupid question. Is it green screen? Is that a real studio no, by? No, no, it's, cool it's green. Sc- it's green. It's cool- green. No, it's green screen. Yeah, we project that on. Oh, it's green screen. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. cool. Green screen. You know what's cool? You can actually do it with blue as well, not just green. You can do blue. It's called chroma key, and it's very, very cool. It allows somebody like you to appear to be in this very cool Miami style uh, studio, which wow. I just absolutely love. Wow. Well, I, I wasn't even sure it was going to work when the uh, we started doing these because, as far as I'm concerned, you're looking at somebody sitting in a chair w- 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 into a mic. Uh, it seems to me that would be yeah. boring, but we're doing a lot of things with with visual and spec, special specs, uh, and uh, showing special specs. When I play a clip, for like I'm going to play this black pastor in Houston in, in a second, we have the clip, and so you can actually see him saying it. So it's beginning to resemble a real TV show. Apparently, you're muted on the YouTube stream. That's what they're saying in the chat. You seem to be having tech issues. I wish I could get in there and have a damn look around. What kind of microphone <laughs> are you working with? Uh, Sean, what kind of microphone is this you said this was? What kind of microphone no, is this? the microphone arm, not the microphone, the microphone arm. What kind of microphone arm y'all working with? And the monitor, too. What kind of monitor y'all working with? You know, Terry, look, Terry... I'll put you on hold. You can ask my engineer all these questions. I have no idea. I'm the kind of guy, you give me the key to the car, I turn it, I expect the motor to work, and I put it in gear and I go. Uh, it's called an H-E-I-L-P-R-40, which is what this uh, microphone is, is, is called. So, Last week, Steve Opath, the cop, took the world by storm with his call to Joe Messina. And this week, he was back at it again as he called another right-wing bootlicker, Mark K., and actually got to complaining before he even got on the air. Check it out. So Steve on line three is super pissy. Uh, he's apparently a police officer that's called a few times. Yeah. And he's super upset that he's been on hold for 45 minutes. And then... Apparently, what does he want to talk about? Um, a police perspective on... Uh, shoot. I mean, he hung up and then called back, so I lost the comments on it but it's a okay. police perspective on all cops are bad okay that's fine i mean tell them we apologize but we don't just you know and it's, it's not our open line wednesday or whatever we do no, it when I we mean, can he, he was very uh vocal about uh wanting priority over oh other callers okay over, oh oh over. oh Eight five five seven six five one zero four five. thanks for the call uh this is steve, steve what's up steve what's how, up? Are, you? how are you thanks for calling the mark show Oh, hi, Mark. Oh, hi, Mark. I don't know if you were briefed, but I'm law enforcement. I'm a police officer here in Jacksonville. I'm I didn't curious. do it. I didn't do it. Whatever it was, it was uh, it was the other Josh. Yeah. 
That's funny, but I uh, honestly, I, I found it kind of peculiar. You discuss your respect for the police, but yet you leave me on hold for 45 minutes and take a bunch of other phone calls, and it's strange. I think you knew I was a police officer, yet you didn't take my call, and that is quite telling in these times, you know, uh, the lack of respect that we have as police officers. Well, I hold on one second. That's not fair at all, because I didn't know you were a police officer until you just told me. You said no, and the lie detector test determined Ralph... That was a lie. And also, you did I, know. You did know. I, I heard in the break you talking about it. You absolutely knew. You're a liar. I don't know why you're lying to me. I'm, I, not, I'm on your side, Mark. Why are you lying to me? I don't your feel your like mic you, is on during the break. I don't feel I, like I literally you heard you head. talking. I, I heard you talking to the producer, and you said to him that you knew I was a police officer. He said it to you on the live stream. Look, I'm looking at your body language right now, too, and I don't love it, Mark. I don't love your body language. Do you have an issue with me, sir? I do have an issue with you. I have an issue with you attacking me. First of all, I haven't taken but three phone calls all day, and we don't just take jump. my call first. Wait, why Mark, can I, why should I take first. your call first? But why is what you... Enforcement. I get that you're law enforcement, law enforcement, and we appreciate that you're law enforcement, and we appreciate yeah, what you do. You don't appreciate it that much. You don't appreciate it that much if you're just going to take two other calls from civilians before me. Nobody respects us, and, and you don't respect us, and you should, because we're normal, level-headed people, Mark. You're level-headed. Listen, you are you have such a lip and such an incredible you, you you just love to be a little smart ass, don't you? Steve, I'll I'm tell just, you what. Pal. I'm curious why what? you're call what was your comment though originally? Why did you call? I called in to say it's unfair how police are being painted as these psychopathic people who are out here uh, uh, railing against these protesters. I feel we like, are, right, and I feel like I'm on your side with that. That's literally my message you're every not single. On my side. You're not on my side. Nobody's on my side. Okay, hang on, hang on one second, Steve. We're gonna. <laughs> We're going, to talk, we're going to talk to you a little bit later. Uh, 856575405. You're not on my side. You're not on my side. We're excited to announce that starting in August, we will be doing a not even a show UK edition once a month for all of the UK viewers. And just to kick things off a little bit, we thought we'd give you a banger from across the pond as we called Dan Wooten. Check it out. Boris is right in appointing people that will keep him moving this country forward, not who will sabotage this country, which we have all seen. Brian is in Manchester. Brian, your, Brian, view, on your view on this. Hi, Dan. Uh, uh, pleasure to talk to you. I really love the show. Oh, thank um, you for listening, Brian. Uh, no, no worries. Um, uh, actually, my favourite magazine um, gave uh, you uh, an award as the... the Radio personality of the lockdown. I, I don't know if you spotted it. Oh my goodness, no, I didn't. What magazine is it? It was Bipshit Magazine. Congratulations. So vacation. Well, I need it. Um, Brian, what do you think about. Um, let's just go to uh, this news out of Hong Kong. The only host who's been featured longer on the channel than Chris X is J.J. McCartney himself. That's right, Chris X is an old school host. He seems like a shock jock, but I promise you he is a piece of shit. And we called him with a quick two hitter. Check it out. Yeah, I think I caught a crank caller too. Phil, the okay. I asked him what part of where he was calling from. He said Houston. And I said, what part of Houston? And he hung up. <laughs> in class, on site, on Good job. Had a little trouble there, Chris. Busted him. Good job, Captain Jack. Building now. Uh, let's go to Tim in the Woodlands. Tim, thanks for hanging on. Welcome to the Voice of Texas. Hi, Chris X, big fan. And I hate to do this, but I was wondering if you can do me a favor. Can you please wipe the grease off of your forehead? Um, I can try. Yeah, sure. Try but, a little harder. Thank you. Thank you for the call. <laughs> I didn't. Is that chicken grease one I had earlier? <laughs> <laughs> uh 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 my point disproven what i just said remember the intellectual discourse that you can't have there's a prime example let's go to jack and river oaks jack thanks for hanging on welcome to welcome the voice, to the of, voice texas. of texas hey chris I, I just wondered if you could please uh wipe that grease off your forehead well the the internet shows guys are back thanks for the call jack um yeah captain jack you're gonna have to watch out for them it's their little internet show guys and clearly they're <laughs> 
<laughs> that's right. Say five hundred dollars an hour. So what's the deal with the greasy forehead? Four hours from yeah, they, that, 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 what's funny is you were right. You caught one of them, and what they did is they turned right around and called back in. There's an internet show, uh, and that's what they're waiting for me to talk about it right now because they're going to clip this, clip this, clip this, clip this, and put it on their show. Um, I can never remember the guy's name. It's a YouTube channel called Not Really a Show or something. They'll get them really mad, and then they clip it and put it on there, and they call it and say crazy stuff. So what happens is you caught one of them earlier, so then they had two of them called right back in. That That's why they got in. So they'll just come up. They're the ones that will call in and ask if I'm an, a, am I an alien or whatever. Anyway, I never get mad. I'm watching these other hosts lose their mind over them is kind of funny. So I guess they must be from Houston, or maybe they've heard mm -hmm. other towns mentioned. It's why they knew that. Nah, they look it up. They're based out of Canada, I think. I was watching Brain Force reviews on YouTube and thinking about Brain Force. That's a dietary supplement that Alex Jones sells. And so I decided, let's take a little Brain Force and see what happens. And it was not good. And I actually have Alex Jones' cell phone number, so I called him to tell him about my issues with the product. Check it out. Brain Force Plus, personally recommended by me at InfoWars. Hey, who's this? Yeah, it took Brain Force and my dick fell off. Just want to gain more thoughts inside my brain. The price was quite high, but I gave it a try. Then something happened just as fast as a car. I took some brain force and my dick fell off. All right, everybody, that's the end and bless you. Blessings and bless you for watching. If you want to watch more, head over to patreon.com slash not even a show. We've got a great bonus episode for you as Steve Opath, the cop, calls into the majority report with Sam Cedar to defend himself against some of the slander that's been happening online. Plus, the return of John Hopwood on the Matt Connerton show and a great three, call, four, five call to Colton at the Bubba Army. Anyways, thanks so much and I love you all and thank you for letting me do this and you're wonderful and you have a wonderful week as well. Is the kissing thing, I should stop that, right? Oh, you already, yeah, you told me to stop it already. <laughs>